Hey, this is just a quick tutorial on how to build a game from scratch or how to start that um, in C Sharp. So you go to New Project, select C Sharp, and you can start with the blank template. Um, the Sidewinder uh, example is great. We looked at that before. It has menus and it has uh, a GUI and it has sound and it has effects, so it's a great place to start. But if you want to see how to build up a game from, from scratch, you can start with the blank template. Let's call this uh, game from scratch or something, and then put it somewhere on your, on your uh, machine. Doesn't really matter where you put it. I'm going to put it in here. Let's call this uh, game from scratch. Okay, and create project. So there we go. I could launch that in the editor by clicking here now, um, but let's just uh, reveal an explorer. And we will open it up in Mono Develop by clicking Code CS. Okay. So the code is really simple. Uh, the basic code here basically just um, displays um, some text in the upper right hand corner of the canvas. It creates a canvas. Um, it gives it a color, positions it, you add a, uh, a text component to the canvas called FPS text. Um, and down here, um, the text is, is updated with the frame count. Okay. So we want to add to this code. Um, I'm just going to add an entity. And I want to launch this in the editor as well. By default, when you when you run this, it'll start the game. But if you want to um, play around with this uh, inside the editor, the sandbox, then you can go to options here. Under CryEngine, you can change this to sandbox. Okay. So I'm just gonna, I have the code over here in a different uh, file. And I can just bring it in. So we're going to use entity. So I'll use the uh, entity system. The first change. I'm going to um, use a. I'm going to make an entity. Call it my entity. And down here. I'm going to give it a position. And going to um, give it the uh, a primitive sphere geometry. Obviously, you can give it whatever geometry you want, a scale of um, 0.5. And it's going to use the position that we, we defined above. Okay, then um, in the update function, this is where we'll update the position of the entity, so it'll move upwards um, by a little bit each uh, frame. And here's some code to actually create the uh, the entity when we press the F6 key or whatever key you choose to use. I'll just get rid of this stuff here. I don't need that. So 
this will create an entity from the entity system at the position we defined above um, using the, uh, the primitive sphere geometry and then in the uh, update function which is called every frame um, we're just basically changing the position so it moves upwards so let's build that okay so to run it just click run here start debugging okay and in here we'll make a very simple uh, level call it test level doesn't need to be a big level get a small level and I'm going to put in a, uh, a default sphere and place it near to where our sphere will spawn so I think I said 40 40 40 so maybe I'll make this 30 just to locate here already um, where it's going to be move it up what's that now okay so it'll be roughly it'll, it'll appear roughly there okay that's just so I set the, ca the camera um, before starting the game okay so s I'll save the level switch the game and now when I press F6 it creates the uh, the entity that we created in code and moves upwards so I hope that was helpful I'll just move it a bit closer so you can see it a bit better um, Control G to start the game and then press F6 and you can see it's moving uh, it's creating series which move upwards okay that's it hope that helps bye